Hey, it's Chris again at Wahoo. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the shifting on your new kicker setup. Uh, you may have noticed that during the initial setup and spin down that the shifting was off or you heard a new noise coming from your drivetrain. Um, this video is going to show you how to make some small adjustments to improve the shifting and or lessen the noise that you're hearing while you're working out on your kicker. Um, it's also just as important to remember to undo these adjustments before you go out on your next ride. So the first setup that we're gonna cover is for a mechanical cable actuated bike. For a cable actuated drivetrain, it relies heavily on cable tension to control each shift. If you shift up the gear range into an easier gear and the shift is slow to respond, you would add cable tension to make that shift happen faster. If the shift moves too far and the chain's rubbing the next gear up, you would know that by the noise that you would hear and you would reduce the cable tension by turning the barrel adjuster clockwise in half turn increments and repeating the shift. So to get it dialed in, start the flywheel moving so it'll be easier to shift and just shift up. If the up shift is too slow, add cable tension by turning the barrel adjuster counterclockwise in half turn increments and repeating the same shift. If the cable tension is too tight and the downshift is slow, you'll need to loosen the cable tension by turning the barrel adjuster in half turn increments and repeating the shift until it's smooth and quiet. Repeat those steps until the shift happens smoothly and you're satisfied with how it shifts. For those of you with electronic shifting, each manufacturer has a trim feature built into their system. For SRAM, this is done by pressing and holding the function button on the inside of each shifter paddle and executing a shift. For ETAP, using the right shift paddle will move the derailleur outward, while using the left shift paddle will move the derailleur inward. If the derailleur is slow to move up the cassette, Press and hold the function button and use the left shift paddle to move the derailleur in quarter millimeter increments and repeat the shift until it happens smoothly. Continue to adjust it until you're satisfied with each shift. If the derailleur is slow to move the chain back down the cassette, press the right shift paddle while holding the function button to move the derailleur in quarter millimeter increments and repeat the shift until it's nice and smooth and you're happy with how it shifts. For Shimano users, you'll want to shift the chain into the big ring in the front and the fifth position in the back. Press and hold the function button on the cockpit junction box until the red light is solid. Using the right shift paddles, you'll move the derailleur inward or outward in quarter millimeter increments until the drivetrain is quiet. The paddle that controls the upshift will move the derailleur inward in a quarter millimeter increment, and the paddle that controls the downshift will move the derailleur outward in a quarter millimeter increment. Use these adjustments until the drivetrain is quiet. To set this position, press and hold the function button again until the light turns off. Regardless of manufacturer, you'll want to be sure to undo these adjustments before you head out on your next ride. If you need further assistance, feel free to contact our support team or go visit your local Wahoo dealer.